Hi guys! As you can see, it is haul time. I've got my haul on and it's from Scrapbooking Warehouse and I actually have another order on hold there again. Anyway, so I hope you guys can hear me okay. So this is my new um, haul and I got a lot of goodies so I can't wait to share with you. And then today I went um, like sort of craft hopping if you will from Michael's to another scrapbook store that I've always wanted to go to. Anyway, um, basically today an old friend of mine, we went crazy, we went shopping today and it was so exciting because you know, I haven't seen her for a while and it was a lot of fun and we went to this scrapbook store, just really really wanted to go there and we finally went today, I'm so excited and I picked up some stuff too so I'm going to show you that um, later. Anyways, to get this out of the way first, so I finally decided to pick up a glue gun, sort of like a glue runner and I decided on the, the glue glider pro simply because of convenience of space and it's really small and just a lot it won't take up a lot of space in my room so this is like perfect size for me um, okay so let me start with this I picked up some more dilutions I picked up the black marble the fresh lime the cherry pie the calypso teal and also the white linen which is pretty much like a pigment you can hear the little mixing ball in there it's a pigment white which kind of has really cool effects on its own it can make sort of like a, a ghosting on its own which is pretty cool so those are my new dilutions inks uh spray inks then i wanted the new picked raspberry color um but i wasn't sure if i should get a stain or as a distress ink so i just got a stain because i have a lot of distress inks and not enough stains so i just decided to like pick it up as a stain and see how it works with this color and i picked up the collage glue stick because i've seen a lot of people use it on their projects and it supposedly sticks a lot better than regular white glue which is good because regular white glue sucks for me so hopefully this could um actually work really well on my collages and then I picked up the Sharpie extra fine white white um, poster paint and it's really cute it's smaller and I picked up some gold stickles because I've always wanted gold stickles and now we're moving on to like stencils and stuff but before that I picked up the Dilutions creative journal so excited um, I can't wait to play with this. The journal I use right now is not really a journal. It's just for like sketches and stuff, so it's not very strong. But I've heard good things about this. Here's like just a pocket. You can put your stencils inside and stuff. And this is just like this book and it opens and there's like different signatures. So there's like white cardstock and then it goes into another signature of like a manila cardstock. And Apparently this book has been created specifically to, uh, to use with the dilutions lines of stuff, so like the sprays and everything. And I heard that the sprays pick up really well and just work really well with these paper, with this book, so I can't wait to play with that. It's actually pretty hefty and heavy, which is amazing because it just kind of adds to the, I guess, the quality of the book, which is pretty cool. And there's like sort of like an opening up here, which... I don't know why the other side doesn't have it, but whatever. I really like it. It's kind of heavy. And then I picked up some of the new stencils. I had some more things in the cart, but by the time I actually made my order, they were all sold out. So these are just some of the stencils I picked up. <clears throat> this is like a flourish, and it's from the it's a new Prima stencil. I got it in 12 by 12 as you can see. And then I also got this one. This is the Turkish, um, it's called Turkish something, and um, it's by Donna Downey, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. I picked up the number jumble one from the Dilutions, uh, just because I needed more texture, I feel, on my pages, and these numbers are pretty cool, and also I like the border around it. The next stencil is called Aboriginal, and it's by um, Ball Julie. Bowser, this lady right here, <laughs> and I really like this one, it's really funky, 
And then I got another Prima stencil, which is like the mini chevron one. I thought this would be, whoops, pretty cool. And then I picked up the Dilusions one just because I love this right here. And this too. It's kind of small, but I can use this as a border. So, more borders for me. This one's really nice. The detail of it is so cute. And, like, you c it's fun because they're not all the same. So, like, you can use this corner and have a completely different effect. And then use this corner or this one and have, you know, a different effect too. So, that's pretty cool. And I really want, like, a writing stencil. So, I picked up this one. I actually wanted the other one had just random letters. But they didn't have it. So, I picked up this one. And it's, like, art is and just a nice quote. <clears throat> and then this one's one of my favorites. Like detailing. This is going to be very intricate on a page. And even the swirls, you can use them on its own with the butterflies. I think that is beautiful. Can't wait to play with that. And then I got <clears throat> this big Prima, like pe uh, peony or like poppy or peony flower um, 12 by 12 stencil. And the last thing in this order are these micron. These micron pens, just because like the pen I have, the Faber Castell pens, and I just completely ruined a tip, and I just bought it, so I picked up some more pens just to have some black pens. Oops. And I didn't go overboard simply because my Michaels is pretty expensive, but these um these are like tissue papers, and they're keys, and they were like 14 cents. So I had to pick it up. I should probably pick up another one, but I think five sheets is enough for me. I'm not a big sort of brown or vintagey person but I really like it and I think it'd be really cool on projects because I really enjoy using tissue paper now so that was like 14 cents and then I picked up some stuff from the dollar bin well the one dollar fifty bin and I picked up some of the sequence trim and I don't really use trims or sequences or anything like that but for some reason this really called to me and I had to have it I don't even know how it opened. So I picked up like the blue one. I might add it on pages like on the border or something. And then I also picked up these three stamps. This one I thought was really funky. I like how the, the flowers kind of look like eyeballs. I just really like this stamp a lot. So I picked it up. I almost didn't though, but I got it in the end. And then they had these like new circus sort of um, things in the bins like circus invitations and stickers and stuff and they had these stamps and I thought they were really funky there was also an elephant but um, I kind of like the profile of these ones a lot more like I can make them look at each other or something like that and I just think they're so cool they're like little vintage animals I really like that so I picked up these two and then they were doing like 50% off the next time you buy one and the other one is 50% off and I, I need a script stamp and um so I decided to pick up this one. I really like it's blue. I don't even know what it says, but um, whatever. It's pretty cool. It's a nice script. And then up here, there's these like a little butterfly and a postage and this little one, which I probably won't use, but I just really mostly got it for the script. So, and then so that one was um, full price, which was six ninety nine. And then I picked up this one from Seven Gypsies, which was uh, half off, so it was three fifty. Mostly because of this hand. I think that would be amazing on art journal pages. And also this right here. I think that's really cool. And I know Tim Holtz kind of had something like that. But it's also, also more, more expensive. And the ruler's not bad. So I put for $350. Like, it's like, I think that's a good deal. And then something I'm super, super, super excited about is this stamp set right here. I've wanted this for forever, I think. And... I even went online, look around, try to find the best deal. Guys, I found this for $4.99. They had other ones, but most of them are sold out. But this one in particular is one I've been wanting forever. And you know what, Michael's, it was like $25.99. And I got it for $4.99, which is a steal. This is a steal. I'm like super excited about this. Super excited. I couldn't even find a better deal like this online if I tried. So very happy i've been wanting this just mostly for the birds and the words and this right here and i just i love this so much i'm so excited so it's the um what's it called lost and found stampers anonymous and tim holtz line next thing i picked up 
It's from Scrapbooking, no, it's called Scrapbook Central, which is in, um, which is a store I've always wanted to go to, and I finally went to, and they give you, like, this cute little bag, super excited, and I picked up a couple of things. I picked up this stencil by Christy Tomlinson, and I just think it's beautiful. It's a really cool design. I picked up this stencil because I really like it. Um, yeah, pretty much it. And then I picked up these like little file um, tabs. They don't come with the folders or anything. They're just little tabs, but I, I just couldn't resist. I think they're cute. And uh, hearts. This one says you and me. True happiness. This moment. The best things in life. And then documented. I thought they were cute, so I picked them up. Oh, they were three fifty. And even the backing I can use. So, and then I saw so many things that I wanted, um, but I just I just didn't want to spend too much, so I just you know didn't get them. But the one thing that I've been looking forever for also is the white Uniball Signal Pen. I finally have it, guys. I finally have this sucker. I've been waiting forever. I've been looking everywhere, and I finally picked it up. And I just realized it's probably the same size as this one. But, whatever, I don't care. I'm so happy I finally found it. It was $3.95, which isn't bad, I guess. So this is my haul, and I gotta go because my battery is flashing at me right now. But I hope you guys like what you see, and I sure do. And I cannot wait to start playing with my new goodies. So thanks for watching, and um, talk to you soon. Bye.